I grabbed the bug spray for this one. You have probably seen the headlines by now all over social media. Thousands of genetically modified mosquitoes being released in the Florida Keys this week. Every time I see it, it makes me itch all over. Yeah, I say mosquito and you just twitch. Oh. See, you did it right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion and worry over what that could mean. People even asking. You see right here on Facebook, why? what could go wrong? Why? Just why? <laughs> I'm with that. I feel that person's pain. Here's another. What could go wrong here? Mm. Well, 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean shows us. She has all the answers from her home this morning. Jenny, what's up? Good morning. Yeah, I'm not getting bit right now. Thank goodness. But you know, these genetically modified mosquitoes, you don't have to worry about them making their way all the way up here to Tampa Bay from the Keys because they can only fly, according to the expert I talked to from Pinellas County Mosquito Control, they can only get about 200 yards from where they're released, so only a few houses. And they have one specific target. It is a mosquito that is a very deadly one, and it is commonly found around our homes. It's called the Aedes aegypti. And the reason why we target it is because this is the mosquito that you may know as the ankle biter, but it's more than just a pest. This is a huge public health threat. This specific mosquito carries Zika, dengue, yellow fever, and even dog heartworm. So how do these modified mosquitoes control the population? They only release the males, and as the males mate with the females that are out in the environment, the babies that come out of that, you don't ever get that female mosquito coming from that mating. That keeps the numbers going down. However, every 12 weeks, more modified males will need to be released to continue the trend. Barrow says this control method has had some success in other countries like Brazil, Panama, and India. But it is a promising tool, and it's an important thing to be looking at because as we see increased insecticide resistance, that's one of the major concerns in mosquito control. And the other is that even though we use multiple methods, this particular mosquito species loves to live in the containers around your homes. Oh, nobody wakes us up quite like Jenny Dean, right? <laughs> Jenny genetically modified or just the regular mosquitoes out there. We don't want to see them. So uh, anything we should be doing before the rain really starts coming around these parts. Yes, before and especially during the rainy season. You know, the best way to control this particular type of mosquito that they're trying to get rid of is to walk around your home and dump any standing water that you see, especially after it has rained. Any standing water because these type of mosquitoes only need a small cap full of water in order to lay eggs and multiply quickly. So it's really important that you take that step so we can all help control that particular type of mosquito population.